Welcome to this NCV level 4 lesson on integration. This lesson follows directly from differentiation. You should be familiar with the differentiation, otherwise you should stop this presentation, go back to differentiation and make sure you understand it before you continue because I will be referring to your knowledge of differentiation. You are required to know the following from your syllabus, but for this introduction, we are going to look at the integral of ax exponent n, the integral of a over x, and the integral of the exponential function ae exponent kx. Um, I will use ax n to show the relationship between integration and differentiation. Then all the other results will follow from that. So after today's lesson, you should be able to appreciate the relationship between integration and differentiation. You should be able to different, sorry, to integrate functions in the form ax exponent n and the integral of a over x and the integral of a e exponent kx and also when the functions are together in one problem. And take you back to differentiation. Remember, if you are finding the derivative of a function in the form ax exponent n, you take in this example the 5 goes to multiply the coefficient, then you subtract 1 from the exponent. Similarly, you can do polynomials like that, differentiating term by term. When you have fractions, you have to write them in exponential form. When you have sets, you write them in exponential form. Only then can you do your differentiation. So for this same function, I want you to see that when you differentiate y is equal to x exponent 5, that process is what we call differentiation. The opposite of that, coming from dy dx, going back to where you started, we call that process integration. So what we are basically saying is that if you want to integrate the function 5x exponent 4, which is what you get when you differentiate x exponent 5, you just write x exponent 5 plus c. And the plus c here is called a constant of integration, and I will discuss it a little bit later in this presentation. So you will see that the other two problems that I gave for differentiation, when you differentiate 2x exponent 5 minus 3x plus 11, you got 10x exponent 4 minus 3, meaning the integral of 10x minus 4 minus 3 will be the original function. I have put the plus 11 in red. Again, I will explain it when we talk of the constant of integration. Similarly, this question number three will be like that. You can also pause and compare uh, the differentiation questions in the previous slide. Right, now I'm going to discuss briefly the constant of integration. You'll see that I have written functions a to d there. And when you differentiate all those functions, you see they give the same derivative. But there is, there is a plus zero that I put in red there to show that all of them, they, will have, they don't have this constant is a zero. But original functions were having different constants. So what it means is that if you are given this derivative and you are supposed to integrate it so that you go back to the original function, you will not know among the four of them, a, b, c, d, which one you differentiated to give you 6x squared plus 9x exponent negative 4. Meaning as long as there is a plus, a constant, any constant, it can be a 5, it can be a negative 8, it can be a root 5. All of them, they give you the same derivative. So when you integrate, 
you put the C to represent all those uh, constants that give derivatives of zero. So when you integrate, to integrate a function in the form ax exponent n, I have to tell you that you'll be given this integral in the exam. So this result will be given. But to know how you go about it, you have a function ax exponent n. You add one to the exponent. So that the exponent becomes n plus one. Then you divide your coefficient by n plus one. So that n plus one goes there, divides the a. You have a over n plus one and then. Then you add the constant of integration. Now you should also remember that a function y is got kx when you differentiate it you get k so the integral of k will be kx right i'm going to look at a few examples where you integrate we have the function on question number one For that integral, you will see that the first term, you should write it in the exponential form, in the form ax exponent n, then plus 2, that's a constant, then minus 3x. You should see minus 3x as 3x exponent 1. You can integrate term by term. You take the minus, you add 1 to minus 3, it becomes a minus 2. So you divide the 3 by negative 2. Then the integral of 2 is 2x. Then you add 1 to the quiv to the exponent of x, 1 plus 1 is 2, then you divide 3 by 2, then you add the constant of integration. Question number 2, again, you, do, you integrate 10 by 10. The integral of 3 is 3x, then you add 1 to half you get 3 over 2. So you have an x exponent 3 over 2. Then the coefficient there is 1. So you will divide that 1 by 3 over 2. Right. Dividing by 3 over 2, you will get 2 over 3. That will be the coefficient of x exponent 3 over 2 plus c. Please notice I'm not uh, simplifying them. I'm just uh, showing how to integrate at uh, this stage. Right. Another special integral that we are going to talk about today is the integral of 1 over x. And again, this will be given on your formula sheet. The integral of 1 over x is ln x plus the constant of integration ln. It's a natural logarithm or a logarithm in base e. That's the unfortunate thing that we are only seeing natural logarithms or logarithm in general on this part of your curriculum because we are not doing logarithms at all for functions. So as an example, if you have 3 over x dx and you want the integral, you can write 3 over x as 3 times 1 over x. So it will be 3 times the integral of 1 over x, and you know the integral of 1 over x is ln x. Then after that you say plus c. We have 1 over 2, question number 4, 1 over 2x. You can write 1 over 2x, because 2x is in the denominator, it will be 1 over 2 times 1 over x. We have the integral of half, integral of 1 over x dx. Integral of 1 over x is in x, then you say plus. My example, question 5, you have three terms that you have to integrate there. You integrate the three terms separately, term by term. Then you will have that result. 
you can pause your video and check how we are integrating each term. Right, then another special integral is the integral of AE exponent KX. For this one, you should remember that the, the derivative of AE to the KX is just a matter of taking the derivative of KX there, which is the constant K, and multiplying A by it. The difference with integration is that we are not going to multiply by the K, we will just divide by the K. So this result will also be given to you on your question paper or on your formula sheet. Let's look at an example involving uh, exponential terms. Let the integral of 2e exponent 4x, you see that your k here is 4, your a is 2. So when you integrate, it's a matter of just taking the 4 and dividing 2 by that 4. Simplify 2 over 4, it's 1 over 2, e to the 4x, and add the constant of integration, c. Number 7, the integral of 2 over x minus 3e exponent minus half x. You see that there are two terms there, the first term 2 over x. This one is in the form a over x, meaning we are going to introduce logarithms when we integrate. Then the other one is in exponential form. You will see that your a is a negative 3 and your k is negative half. So it's just a matter of taking that negative half and it will divide the negative 3. Then you simplify that. The integral of 2 over x is 2 ln x. Then when you divide 3 by negative half or negative 3 by negative half, you get a positive 6. Then it will be e exponent minus half x. Then you add the, what is left is for you to do the work that is there on the screen. Please attempt all those problems on your own. If you have any challenges, talk to me. I'm always available. Uh, you also prepare for the next lesson that we are going to do, and it will be on uh, integrals of trig functions. We will also look at definite integrals and also how to apply integration on calculating areas. You have a good day. Stay safe and please protect yourself.